A South Korean weapons company once seen as a dinosaur is now churning out howitzers twice as fast as its Western competitors. Here's a summary of the article. A South Korean weapons manufacturer that traditionally specialized in older, less advanced armaments is seizing on demand for 155mm howitzers by producing them faster than the West. Hanwha Aerospace can build its K9 self-propelled howitzer in about six months at $3.5 million apiece. Bloomberg reported, estimating the company to be two to three times as fast as its competitors. The U.S. uses the M777 howitzer, built by British company Bay Systems. In January, the firm said it expected to reopen production of the artillery platform for new U.S. Army orders and would deliver an initial tranche next year. German manufacturer KNDS Deutschland is also expected to resume production of its self-propelled Pease 2000 howitzer, with parts from Rheinmetall. In June, it said it would deliver the first howitzers by MID 2025. South Korean law prohibits defense contractors from exporting weapons to active combat zones. Its customers include Poland which officiated an order for 679 of the K-9 howitzers in July 2022, and Romania, which was reported in April to be looking into its first defense contract with South Korea for $725 million. This post received a score of 7,600, with an upvote ratio of 96%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Speaking as someone in the industry, there has been a significantly increased presence of Korean firms in defense industry trade shows in the last few years, and they go all out. It's not unusual for a domestic company like General Dynamics to bring something like a new Abrams X prototype to a two-day trade show, but usually foreign firms keep a lower footprint. The Koreans have started bringing a lot of their heavy equipment, and it must cost a fortune to do it. As someone that's lived in Korea, Korean companies tend to have a habit of getting a good job done fast. It's the entire system they operate at everything in Korea moves quite quickly and it works pretty good. They also aren't afraid of doing things right, like when it comes to marketing especially. So yeah I can see them going all out and being okay with paying a lot. I'm currently working at the Ford battery plant being built in Tennessee, which is technically being built by SK. The Koreans are everyone's least favorite group because they do not give a fuck about being in someone else's way to get a task done. Red tape barricade, one-way traffic, clean room, they will walk right past all of it without a care in the world. I stopped one guy trying to tell him the road was one direction, he looked at me and said, I go my own way. Then drove off, I'd homie well damn then. Greater than I stopped one guy trying to tell him the road was one direction, he looked at me and said, I go my own way. Then drove off. That made me laugh if I'm honest. I'm out IRLS Korean. Two times or three times? It was Quadris last time I heard. They are trying to fill up the void the Russians left in the market to supply their battle in Ukraine. You're jesting, but if the Russians keep this war going you just might be right if the Koreans see an opportunity. Not really trying to fill the void left by the Russians. Korea is still only selling to U.S., Western-aligned countries. You're not going to see Kazakhstan with K-9s for example. Rather, they are filling a void left by the slow rate of production and high cost of Western equipment. This is why you see them marketing to countries like Poland, Finland and Estonia that are trying to quickly expand military capabilities but don't have the wealth of France or Germany. Well technically, they are replacing Russian arms in some countries. K-9. K-2s, F-A-50s are going to Malaysia, Saudi, UAE, India, Poland, Romania, Peru etc. for example. And those countries used to import Russian-based arms in the past. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com without any human intervention.